If I were a videographer, filmmaker, content creator, designer of any type, photographer, whoever, whatever, I would be pumped right now, which I am a videographer and a content creator, obviously. I'd be pumped right now just because Affinity is now free. And if you make videos, that means your workflow inside of DaVinci Resolve just got enhanced. In this video, I'm gonna show you three different ways to take advantage of the new free Affinity download so that you can improve your content creation and filmmaking altogether. Let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna go over is the fact that you don't have to pay anything to Adobe now or any other software to create SVG graphics. Now, SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic, and it's the type of thing you'd usually make with Adobe Illustrator or previously the paid version of Affinity Designer. So here I have a logo refresh. Uh, this is my current logo right now, and I'm looking to refresh it, and I still wanna make some tweaks here, but let's say I wanna export this and bring it inside of Fusion so that I can mess around with the shapes there and perhaps animate them, give them some motion. All I'm gonna do is come up to File, Export, Export. I'm gonna choose SVG here on the side, right? I'm gonna do high quality and I want to make sure I'm in artboard 2. This is artboard 2 right here and it's like artboard 2 and I'm going to press export right now I've saved my file I'm going to jump inside of DaVinci Resolve I have a timeline open you can see already go to effects fusion composition drag my fusion comp in here open fusion page bada bing bada boom I want to drag in a blank background here bring the alpha down to zero and now all I'm going to do is go to Fusion, import SVG. Now watch this, locate your file, find it, hit okay, and bada bing, bada boom, it loads your file just like this inside of Fusion. You drag an output into your merge in your main flow line and it loads up just like this. And you can actually open it up and see all of the different things inside of here. Uh, and it loads everything like this. So you don't need to purchase uh, Adobe Illustrator anymore for this to create these scalable vector graphics. You can just get Affinity and import them just like this. Now the second thing that makes Affinity a game changer with your workflow inside of DaVinci Resolve is that you can make concepts for your lower thirds in a much more graphic friendly environment. So check this out. Inside of Adobe here, I have a- Yes, I meant to say inside of Affinity. Affinity, Adobe, you say it so many times you start to mix it up. Portrait of this dude. And I have kind of like a very basic text design for his name, uh, the association that he's with and his position within that association. And it's not very graphically complex, but it was very easy to put this together and create the hierarchy of elements here inside of Affinity, just because this is kind of what Affinity is made for, is, is designed sort of like this. So what makes this so neat is that you could take your images here, like your hero shot of whatever you're going to um, add your lower thirds to or your motion graphics to, uh, and then design your motion graphics here. Now you could always export them from here inside of DaVinci Resolve using that SVG method we covered earlier, and then give us some animation there. Or you could just recreate it inside of DaVinci Resolve at that point, once you've decided on a design that you like. But again, this is revolutionary because you don't have to pay for Adobe anymore. And yes, you could do this inside of DaVinci Resolve as well, but if you wanted to have the full complex control uh, uh, Fusion offers you inside of DaVinci Resolve, you can still use that control and take advantage of it once you've imported something in. If you prefer not to design your stuff inside of Fusion, if you want to design your stuff uh, in a layer-based software, here you go. You see, I have a group here and it's just super simple. I could move this stuff around and I could just take this design inside of Fusion, inside of DaVinci Resolve, and then animate it to my heart's desire. The third and final thing that makes Affinity is such a game changer with your workflow inside of DaVinci Resolve is the fact that if you have, say for example, I have this image here of three new iPhones lined up uh, and I want to just cut that middle, the orange iPhone out of this lineup and use it uh, inside of my DaVinci Resolve animation or my DaVinci Resolve video. Well, Affinity makes that really easy, thankfully, and even in the free version as well. So you might have heard with the new Affinity release that if you pay for Canva AI, which is only $15 a month, if, if you want the AI features, you don't even need to get them. It's not required. But if you pay for that, you have access to tools like background removal, generative fill, generative extend, and all that sort of stuff. There's also just like the prompting where you can just like circle something and say, I want to see this, 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 and that, press enter, and it pops up. What I think is really neat is included with the free version of Affinity is a workable and decent background removal tool to begin with. So check this out. I have already gone to my settings and installed uh, under the machine learning tab and installed the segmentation add-on. And this is what allows uh, to, uh, the software to grab uh, stuff in the foreground and separate it from the background. So watch this. I'm gonna take this tool right here, the object select tool. And once I have that 
add-on installed. All I have to do is drag my cursor over an object that I want to separate from the background. Click and boom, you see the marching ants there right there and uh, just creating a mask right here. It's it's not bad. It's really not bad. Now, obviously, you're going to have to go in here and clean it up a little bit. Like this isn't the greatest because the other tools do exist also. But for what this is, for the fact that it's free and it's just included in here, not bad. Something like this would only take a few minutes to go in and clean up anyways. So whatever. You are definitely not going to see me crying about this feature. So there you have it. Those are my top three things that make integration with DaVinci Resolve while using Affinity such a game changer and things that I think that are going to make this software extremely useful in the hands of all video creators, content creators especially. And again, I want to emphasize what makes these things so special is the fact that this software is now free. You could do this before in other versions of Affinity and other softwares out there as well. But to have a software with these professional tools as refined as they are just readily available just free for download is just crazy and unheard of uh, up till recently so if you haven't got affinity yet just go get it it's free and davinci resolve has a free version as well so you can make your videos and all of your art for free it's this is a wild time to be living in as an artist or just as some any type of designer creator whatsoever in general you have no excuses not to be making your art now if that's something you want to be doing so definitely go check that out get affinity get davinci resolve make your videos make your assets design your lower thirds design your svg graphics and the world is your oyster the sky is the limit hey my name is ethan robbins i constantly make videos about how to use davinci resolve and things that make davinci resolve so much better versus the competition and why you should leave adobe there's never been a better time to leave adobe than now if you like these types of videos subscribe to the channel leave a comment and if you like this video like it and if you dislike it dislike it leave a comment if you have any questions down below i'd like to know your opinion on what's going on with affinity and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to the channel and while you're at it you might as well grab some freebies over on my website i have a whole section just free assets and free things to download for your filmmaking and content creation the most popular thing is a vertical safe template you can go on there and it's this vertical safe template so that when you're editing your tiktoks or your instagram reels or whatever or your youtube shorts you can see what's going to be in frame and what's not going to be blocked by the buttons and all that stuff and it works across all three of them and it's the safe zones combined across all of them so what works in one works in another and it's free it's on my website go grab it anyways thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video